Hey guys, this is Mani Kartik here. Welcome to another episode of Blogging 101. In this episode, we will talk about affiliate marketing and how you can make money online through affiliate marketing. So let's take a look. Awesome, so affiliate marketing is a very popular method of making money online. Apart from advertisements and other, uh, other ways to make money online, affiliate marketing is really popular with bloggers. The reason is that affiliate marketing pays you more than advertisements. You know, for advertisements, you need to have a lot of views, a lot of clicks in order to make a decent amount of money. But in affiliate marketing, you know, even with very less sales, just because the percentage commission is more in affiliate marketing, you will get more money in your bank. So let me explain how that works. Um, so taking a step back, affiliate marketing essentially means selling other people's products through your blog. So let's say, for example, uh, you have a a technology blog where you write about mobile phones and gadgets and things like that where you review them and in the links you can always put links to another company or a service where they can as in users can buy those products from and whenever they make a purchase from that website or that company you get x percentage of that sale so if that uh, product is worth let's say 100 dollars and your percentage commission is you know 10 percent then you get $10. So that's how affiliate marketing works, essentially. Now, the good thing is that there are a lot of companies and products that actually have affiliate programs in place, which makes it easier for bloggers to get started with affiliate marketing. For example, Amazon has an awesome affiliate marketing program, whereby if you have a blog, uh, you can sell Amazon products on your blog by putting in ads or you know banners and things like that and if anyone clicks on that product and buys that product from Amazon then you get some percentage of that sale so easy right so let's say for example you are a technology blog and you review gadgets TVs uh, mobile phones and things like that then you put links from Amazon in that blog and if somebody clicks on that link go to Amazon buy that product then you get paid some percentage of that sale. So that's how it works. So now it might explain you why affiliate marketing is better than uh, advertisements. I mean, I wouldn't say better, but how it pays you more than advertisements. Uh, but there are a couple of things that you have to keep in mind while doing affiliate networking. And those are, number one, make sure that you don't do it right from day one of your blogging. Because affiliate marketing is not for everyone. You need to build a reputation. You need to uh, build some trust with your audience before recommending products. Because, you know, I've seen a lot of people who just plug in a lot of ads and a lot of links uh, before even know, before actually letting know that who you are. Uh, so people don't like that because you're basically selling anything and everything possible to your readers. And people don't come back to your blog if they notice anything like that. Instead, what you need to do is create a rapport with them. Make sure that you have a good targeted active audience who actually are looking for uh, solutions to their problems and who are looking for recommendations from you. And also make sure that you have some sort of authority to recommend these products to them because otherwise they can do it themselves. So you have to do a lot of research. You have to do a lot of effort, take a lot of effort from your side to make sure that you build that kind of audience. And then you start doing affiliate marketing only after that. Uh, which makes it more easier and which makes it more authoritative in my opinion. And of course you can start doing it earlier, but that's not the right way to do it. Uh, number two is that make sure that everything that you do is legal in your country. So say if you're in India and you start with affiliate marketing, make sure that the products that you sell is absolutely legal. You should not be selling anything that comes your way. Make sure that uh, it's all uh, properly uh, covered under the law and because you know you're also going to be part of it if you're uh, selling something really bad so that's very important and number three is that make sure you don't overdo it um, make sure you have some sort of filtration system in your blog whereby you can figure out who is looking for a solution for example in blogging there's this concept of uh, filters or funnels where certain types of content is for window shoppers uh, and certain types of content is for people who are actually going to buy something immediately like for example i can tell you uh, one article that's something like uh, the best tvs in india or the best mobile phones in india is a very top of the funnel kind of an article where this is for window shoppers who are probably not going to buy a mobile phone or a tv immediately but they're just window shopping and you know they're not serious about it but another type of content would be like something like uh, 
a brand X versus brand Y comparison, uh, a Sony versus a Panasonic comparison of a TV, of a one specific TV or a mobile phone, uh, where you write down the differences between the two brands and what the price comparisons are, where you can buy it from, etc. And this sounds more like an article that will appeal to somebody who is immediately going to buy the product in the next few days, perhaps. So this is more catered towards uh, a serious buyer. And that's the reason why you can plug in an affiliate uh, ad in that article instead of the other window shopper kind of an article where, you know, uh, the guy is not serious about buying it. So you have to find some ways to filter out your content wherein you can put these ads and becomes relevant for the user because otherwise it will become just blatantly advertising anything to your user and that will turn off a lot of the users. So keep that in mind. Um, the other thing is that make sure you have a current account or a you know, proper savings bank account that you can use for these transactions because you would need to sign up for affiliate networks. Like for example, Amazon is a good affiliate, uh, has a good affiliate program where you can sell Amazon products on your blog and that'll make you money if there are sales uh, produced from it. Uh, but in this case, you will need some sort of a, a bank account or a PayPal address that is verified um, that you can use to receive funds whenever a sale is made through Amazon. So make sure you know all the legal stuff is covered. You have a bank account, you uh, have your tax filed, um, you have your PAN ID, PAN card, uh, Aadhaar card and all that stuff so that you know instead of just going in and applying for networks you do it the right way. Um, one other thing you have to keep in mind is that most of these networks uh, work with multiple products so you have to go into that in a network and find out the products that actually work for you. So like I mentioned if you have an astrology blog make sure you only uh, talk about or recommend uh, astrology based products and uh, you have to take, put in some effort to find those kind of products from those networks. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, it's super easy to get started with affiliate networks, but make sure that you have the right audience and make sure that you're at the right time of uh, time for doing it because otherwise it'll can, you know, it, it can, um, it can be problematic. <laughs> so all the best. Uh, I write a lot of posts about, uh, affiliate marketing, the links to which will be in the description. Make sure you check those, but this was sort of like a primer to get you started with affiliate marketing. Uh, so all the best. See you in the next video.